I don't know why we call him Flea. I think he used to be a little little Muppet when he was a baby. He yeah, he used to run pretty fast when he was a baby. And it just goes to show you, when they get older, they really get very, very lazy. And look at him now. What's going on, anybody? Yeah, he knows what he has to do. If he wants a nut, he's got to work for it. Okay. Well, you know, he's he's not a very a very macho male, as if you can, you know, say that about a rat. Okay, let me try to catch up with you. Um, alright. Yeah. So, boy. So that's Flea, alright? He's not very macho. He's kind of, um, you could say, he's kind of a, a buddy to the girls, not really a you know, um, a breeder type of male. And we do get a lot of roof rat males that are like that. We have a number of them who are just sweet and friendly little rats, but, <laughs> you know, they just, um, they just don't want to have babies for whatever reason. Um, and that's, that's definitely Flea's problem. We have him with girls all the time, and uh, he is very friendly and nice to them, but they never have any babies with this guy. Well, yeah, he's kind of small size male. Yeah, he's a little bit smaller than some of the females. I mean, you know, a lot of females when they're full grown, they're going to be like 160 grams or more, and he's 100. about he. Yeah, even 200. And he's about 165. And that's, um, I mean, you know, that's a little, I guess that's one reason why we called him Flea. Yeah, he's uh, kind of shrimpy. Yeah, but you know what? He's still healthy. He's, he's, he's very friendly, very healthy, loves nuts. Uh, I guess he should have ate more nuts when he was smaller so he'd grow more. <laughs> a little too late now, Flea. Um, so, I mean, you know, I could say that he, as a, as a male, he's not very good at breeding, but he's not useless because he will make somebody a really, really good pet. Look at that little fellow. Mm -hmm. If you are willing to uh, invest in a jar of nuts from Costco <laughs> or uh, what's in Sam's Club, um, then Flea will be your little buddy for life. Because that's really all he needs is for you to offer him a nut and he knows that he loves you. <laughs> he loves you because you gave him a nut. <laughs> well, he's begging for a nut again. <laughs> yeah, he's begging for a nut. He's like, wait a minute. Wait a minute, did somebody say nut? Oh, my nut is not here anymore. Wait, I just, no, no. So, excuse me, where's, where's, where's the nut? Hello? Yeah, did you see that? Immediately. Nut is gone. He's got to get another one. What has he got? There? Ah, there we go. There you go, Flea. Yeah. You know, people ask me, hey, can my roof rat sit on my shoulder and just, you know, let me stroke him? Well, yeah. If he's eating a nut, he will for sure do that. So, Chung, let's see if you can stroke Flea. Does he let you? All right, great. Now, one thing you shouldn't try, you know, look at it, he's just eating, you're stroking him. Yeah, he's fine with that. One thing you should never try to do is look as though you're going to take his nut away. So, pretend you're going to take his nut away, Chong, see what he does. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, try again, try again, I just want to see this. You're scared of him? Yeah, take it away. Oh, no. He's, you, you know, they say that rats aren't smart. Oh yes, he's very smart. He knows if you're going anywhere near his nut, no, ain't gonna happen. Sorry, buddy. That's my nut. You're not taking it. Yeah, I don't know how many nuts flea could eat. Probably a lot more than five you'd ever. Six, five or six. Yeah, if you think about how big his little tummy must be. 
<laughs> it's a lot bigger than you imagine. Don't give him too much. Don't give him too much. It's not good for him. So anyway, like I said, Flea is a great little pet for somebody. Maybe you. Would you like to give Flea his new forever home? Well, then please get in touch because Flea is available today for adoption. All you have to do is, um, you know, is contact us and let us know that you're going to get take good care of him and give him a good home and love him forever and Flea can be yours. That's right, and if you don't like Flea, don't worry because we have a lot of other nice rats too. We have babies, we have mamas, even mamas with babies. I mean like one daughter, so for example you can adopt the mama and the daughter. And we have pairs of older rats, so Flea just happens to have his own cage because he's a little bit shrimpy, so you know, maybe he'd get bullied by some other male, but if you want, we can find some young male to put in the cage with him, and you know, he, he'll accept anybody as a friend. He's, he's very nice. Even a girl, and he won't get her pregnant, but that's okay. Maybe you don't want to try that. Anyway, please get in touch and tell us that you want to adopt Lee, and he's yours. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.